Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a generation where everyone and their mothers have full god squads Inshallah. in FIFA. No one shows love to the poor silvers or bronze players that were once marvelled upon. But fear not, ladies and gentlemen, as today that will all change today. I will be making that change today. I will be using a full silver squad in Foot Champs playoffs just to teach people a lesson that a stack team means nothing in FIFA 22 or any FIFA because this game is an absolute piece of shit. As we went into our first game, I was confident that we were going to do well. That is until I saw the person's team and noticed he had Van Dyke, Joe Gomez, Rudiger, and Hero K win his team. Regardless of that, I had a job to do. He instantly put pressure on my backline and managed to have a shot in the first two minutes, but Butland was there to save the day. Whilst this person was enjoying his attacks, I, on the other hand, was struggling to break his defence down as every pass I made just ended up getting blocked by the defence. However, 11 minutes in, I made a terrible mistake and he got the ball straight away and with one pass he was through and sure enough, Romelu Lukaku made sure I paid for that horrible mistake and scored to make it 1-0 in my first game. Ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't have had a worse start and with Rudiger, Van Dijk and Gomez in his back line, I was in for a long game. After that goal, he kept enjoying spells of possession and chances but luckily for me, Butland was there to save me from my terrible, horrible, embarrassing defending. Then. In the 23rd minute, I passed the ball wide to Somerville, who made an intricate pass into the box to Adyemi, who makes no mistakes whatsoever. And we are tied 1 1 with this full silver team. Let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen. After that goal, nothing happened, so in the 63rd minute, I decided to freshen things up and bring on some subs. I completely changed the front line as I wanted to go out and win this game. My substitutions nearly made an instant impact as Murillo was through on the wing, and I decided to become a rat and sweat it but the defender just managed to clear it out. It was the 70th minute and we kept pushing for another goal. Adiemi got the ball and passed it to a defender who scored a banging goal, which put us in the lead. That was my substitution. I made that change. This is a managerial masterclass for me. A defender scoring minutes after coming on. And just to rub insult to injury, my opponent made a life-threatening mistake, giving the ball away from a goal kick, which put a defender through on goal for an easy 1v1. So I went around him and walked the ball into the net like the toxic rat that I am making the scoreline 3-1 to us, but I wasn't done. I had to make sure this person suffers even more, so in the dying moments of the game, I did just that. I got the ball on the wing with a pender, passed it inside to Adiemi who had an easy shot, but I felt ratty, so I sweated it across to Murillo, who had an open goal and bagged our fourth. No regrets, ladies and gentlemen, and that is how the game ended. We won the game 4-1, comfortable with victory at the end, but something was wrong. After that game, I felt like a rat. But I liked it. Ladies and gentlemen, from this point onwards, I was going to be a rat to every opponent I came across for this video anyways. As we went into game two, I saw that this person had a decent team, but was it enough to beat my silver god squad? I think not. It wasn't even two minutes into the game and this person attempted to sweat you against me. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this person, a whole pass to an open teammate for an open goal. And that got me furious, guys. How could he attempt such a disgusting move with a team he has against a full silver team? People of the internet, I was furious. I was cussing him out with words I cannot repeat on the social webs, but then I stopped. This person was obviously lost in life and seeking guidance and counselling. So in the wise words of Sir Six Ninth the First, I'm going to treat this person like a little boy and kiss him on the forehead and be the figure they require. Ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely desecrated this man alive and hopefully uh, with the help of Lord Jesus and any other lords, uh, hopefully he can seek refuge and find out that sweating is not the key to life. So ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, I realized my foot champs qualifications games were done, but I was in division four. So I will use this silver team in division four rivals. And if you guys want me to use this team in foot champs like properly, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe and comment down below that you want to see it because I shall do that for you guys. In the first six minutes, I scored a fantastic solo goal with Dennis Van Dyke in the mud. I felt disgusted for that goal I scored. Therefore, I had to show respect and not celebrate. But my lead did not last long as almost straight from kickoff, he scores a goal with Aubameyang, then he scores with Bruno Fernandes, which wasn't from a penalty. Yes, only in FIFA would you see such events happening, ladies and gentlemen, but in the 22nd minute, I had a huge opportunity with some of it, but he missed. How do you miss that? That was literally an open goal. <sighs> Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is how the game ended. This rat in the last 10 minutes just held the ball at the back with his centre backs. Yes, you heard that right. Our gold squad was that intimidated by our silver squad that they had to do such things. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We used the silver squad in division rivals and foot champs and we did quite well. 
Make sure you leave a like, comment below what you'd like to see next, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.